Hey guys, this is Dustin back with uh, Get Some Dirt Time. I'm going to be trying to cut the videos shorter. Um, it's, <laughs> it's another one of those things that I was told when I was talking to my friend. Is she said, uh, try and make videos under 10 minutes. People like under 10 minutes. So, under 10 minutes it is. Under 10 minutes it is, excuse me. Uh, what I want to talk to today is... Wild edible playing cards. They're called wild cards, edible wild foods. They're uh, the marked wild food identification card game. I mean, for example, here's Yarrow. Let's see if I can't block some of that glare so you guys can see it. Now it's got a really good picture, it's got a hand drawing. Then in this corner, it's got uh, it has a excuse me, here, let's try this. In this corner, it has there. You can see the little drawing of the United States. It's shaded in areas where it where it can be found. And on the back side, you still it still is really hard to. Well, the back side has uh, other names uh, that it's called. Uh, warnings, like for example, yarrow, not a bulk food. Used sparingly for medicinal purposes. Too much can result in kidney or bladder irritation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks. So, when you're fooling with yarrow, use sparing. It's got a, a description of what parts of it are edible. Characteristics, like uh, height 16 inches or more, astringent smell, umbrella-like group of white or red flowers. Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> Western variety, light green, woolly. Warning, always crush and sniff for characteristic astringent smell with distinguishes, which distinguishes this plant from dangerously poisonous lookalikes. Then uses, uh, leaves, flowers, uh, hints. One cup yarrow tea usually is sufficient as a stimulant. Which means like a cup of coffee, I'm thinking. Um, this was one of those gifts where it was like, I first got it and I was like, huh, what the hell am I going to do with this? But then I started looking at it and I was like, oh man, these are really, really freaking cool. I never even knew these existed. It's probably one of the, one of my more favorite gifts I've ever gotten because it was like just totally oddball out there craziness and I like oddball craziness in my gifts. But, uh, yeah, my kid sister got these for me. I say kid sister, she's like, not a kid. But, uh, yeah, I just figured I'd share those, let people know they're out there. Um, kind of wish I had somebody to play the game with, you know, to, uh, that would appreciate it. So, Bronson, October, I'm bringing these with me. We're going to play Wild Edible Cards. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I've got uh, one more video planned. And uh, I'm going to try and look around here, see if maybe I can't come up with something else. I might do a little leatherworking video. You know, do a couple things like uh, these are a couple of basic tools that you can use, stuff like that. <laughs> But uh, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video.